typical example of data values on top right, you see there are time measurements in seconds and position measurements in centimeters. Assume you have given, you are given these data and you are asked to plot this data on a graphical paper. How to do it? <clears throat> First of all, your data must show the units. This is the labels and units. What kind of uh, data do you have? It's time measurements on the left and uh, position measurements on the right. But uh, writing down the units is one of the most important things. Okay? First of all, you have to record, you have to write down the units appropriately. For, for time measurements, we use seconds. This is S for second. And for X measurements, centimeters. So we have an object, obviously, moving in time. And it is at 10 centimeters in the X axis, because this is X, at time t is equal to 0 0.1 second. And it is at 21, at 0.2, etc. It goes like this. <clears throat> and you see on the uh, position measurements, you also have these additional numbers, plus minus 1, plus minus 1. What are these? These are the errors in your position measurements, right? You can measure the position. It states that you, you measure the position up to one centimeter error, okay? Well, 10 is your first measurement, but it may actually be 11 or 9 centimeters, okay? So this is the uncertainty in your measurement. You have to state this. Without stating these error values, all measurements are meaningless in physics, okay? This is first crucial thing. So, and you want to draw uh, X versus T graph, okay? Uh, in here, uh, you have to decide which variable is dependent variable and which one is independent variable. Obviously, the position measurement is a dependent variable here because it depends on time, right? And time is independent variable. In all graphical representations, the vertical axis is always dependent variable, okay? This will be always your dependent variable axis, and the horizontal axis is independent variable. In this case, we label the vertical axis as x, and in parentheses we ha have to show the uh, unit in x, and in the horizontal axis, we write time, and the unit is seconds. So the next step is to choose a scale of your data or uh, graphical representation. What does choosing a scale mean? Of course, you have some little squares on, on graphical paper. And these little squares, the length of these uh, squares, will represent your measurement values, okay? For example, if the smallest square uh, represents 4 centimeters in X, then that's it. Uh, if you have a measurement of, let's say, 8 centimeters in X, then you will show this as two squares in the uh, vertical direction, okay? So once you set up this, uh, well, it's totally up to you how to choose this, but there is a criteria for choosing the scale. You have to choose the scale as large as possible, okay? Uh, in order to use the graphical paper, the uh, area of the graphic, gra graphical paper most, you have to choose a large scale, okay? If you choose a very small scale, it will be very difficult to show your data points, right? So work with larger scales as uh, far as possible. And you will do the same for the uh, other axis, dependent variable. Uh, for that one, in this example, I have uh, chosen five square to represent 0 0.1 seconds. Okay? That means 0 0.2 will be 10 square. And go on like this to uh, put all data values. 
So of course you have to shove uh, some numbers on both axes to shove uh, your scale. For example, this this length uh, shows 20 centimeters, and this one uh, another 20, and goes like this. And label this, and then you are ready to put your data points on appropriate places on the paper. So your first uh, tuple, two numbers, on on uh, the graphical paper is 0.1 in time and 10 in uh, X. So you just find this and put a dot, single dot. And you do this for all data points and after this you will see, you will get an idea of how these data values, X and time, related to each other. Okay? And it will be almost clear to you that your data have some kind of relationship between them, right? And what you see in here, there is kind of a linear relationship, okay? In equal times, the object takes almost equal distances, okay? Uh, well, once you put these points, you're not done, of course. Remember, we have this information of error values in X. We have to also represent these errors in your plot. These errors means, okay, 10 is your first measurement, but it can be 11 or it can be 9. So we represent a line, a bar, error bar on your first data point. And the length of this bar is 2 centimeters with this uh, data, okay? Because it's in centimeters. And you just check on your scale how many squares correspond to 2 centimeters in the x-axis. So you will draw uh, that length of error bars on your first uh, data point. You will do the same on the second, third, and all, if, of, of course, all of your uh, data in x has the same error value. If they are, have different error values, of course, you, you will adjust the length of the error bars appropriately with your scale. So, uh, these bars on the first loop shows that uh, another third person, your data, you have some data, but these data have some error values. Okay. What next is if you are asked to draw a based line fit to your data, then you will draw a line, okay? You will draw a straight line that best fits your data points. I will show you how to do it, but beforehand, uh, once you put your data points, there is one thing that we have to calculate is the average values in both x and time okay so this is done in here to calculate the average value in x you just add all x values and divide it by to the number of points number of data points we have five in here so we add this and then divide it by five our average in x is 30.4 centimeters. You do the same for the uh, dependent var independent variable, time. You add all time measurements and divide it by 5. The average value or the mean, the mean value for time is 0 0.3 seconds. And you have these two numbers, 30.4 and 0 0.3. You mark this point on your plot uh, paper, okay? On the graphical paper, this is somewhere like here. The midpoints of all your data points in X and in, in time. So I mark it here as a cross. This shows the mean values or the average values of all of your data points. So as I said, the next thing is, in fact, the purpose of uh, drawing these uh, points on the graphical paper is to draw a best fit line uh, which is the best appropriate line 
for your data points and you are ready now to draw this line and the first rule how to draw this line you cannot simply connect all data points by straight lines because if you connect these points by straight lines overall you won't have a straight line it will be a zigzag line like this right uh, the, I, the, the main purpose is to draw one single line straight line of course this straight line will not pass all of your data points this is not possible because you have some errors and not all the points will be on the same line because of the errors in your measurements okay but you will do as uh, best as you can do right this is the idea of drawing best lines and let me show you how to do it first of all the first rule is whatever you draw this line must pass through the medium point the midpoint the average point this cross okay and let's give a shot and I will choose a different color all right so <clears throat> let me start somewhere here I think you can see it clearly so I extend this to pass from right through this red crossbar the midpoint and leave it so this might be a reasonable baseline right first of all it, it, it passes through the midpoint the average point that's the first rule okay and it is as close as possible to all data points right you see first two data points well it's not exactly passing through them but the first two data points uh, located just above the line very close but just above the line well these next three data points are located just below the line so almost we have equal number of points which are located up and down of the uh, line so this is a very reasonable acceptable baseline okay it, it is as as possible as 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 best as uh, possible you can draw to the uh, uh, as a distance to the uh, data points it passes through the mean point exactly and it's it's a it's a straight line okay well I can draw some other lines uh, the best line may not be unique of course uh, let me try another line okay which has a different color let's say you choose a red color again I start somewhere here oops well as you see uh, this line also sorry if you insist that this line also must pass through the midpoint the average point it is almost as good as the previous one right well you can try more and if you say that okay this is the best the best that I can do then just leave it leave it as it is so you can say that this is the best line and that's it so what next how do you interpret this line and probably you know how to calculate the slope of a line or how to write down an equation for a line in the coordinate axis have you ever done it in high school or previously what is a uh, most general expression for a uh, straight line if uh, your dependent variable is x let's say and independent variable is y a general expression for a straight line is y is equal to m times x plus 
some constant b right have you uh, ever seen this kind of uh, relation right this is the most general expression for a straight line if your dependent axis is y and independent axis is x this is a general expression for a line okay so you had a question do you have a question okay so in this expression what is m M is slope, and B is a constant value that uh, shows your how, where your line crosses the y-axis. If you put x is equal to zero, y is equal to B is your, the the position of the line which crosses the y-axis. Okay. So uh, for this one, for this example, you will have a similar expression. But since uh, your dependent variable is x and independent variable is y, your expression will look like different, but it's in the same format, okay? It will be like x is equal to m times t plus some constant b. It's the same thing, just the labeling is different. So x is a dependent variable and t is independent variable. And M is just the slope of your line that we have drawn uh, previously. So, how can you uh, get this slope information from this line? How can you uh, calculate the slope? Once you draw a straight line, and how can you calculate it? Just pick up two points on the line, not any of your data points. Pick up two points on the line, okay? Let's choose this one as the first point. Uh, let's choose this one at the second point. Next, you will connect these lines. Well, not. They are already connected, of course. They are on the same line. Uh, let's draw some straight lines which are parallel to the axis. Draw a line which is parallel to t-axis, crossing the, your first point, and draw another line from the second point, which is parallel to the x-axis. Since these lines are parallel to the axis, they cross perpendicularly, right? This is a right triangle. You form a right triangle, right? The hypotenuse is the baseline, and the side uh, These are the uh, one of the uh, uh, sides of your right triangle. This let's call the distance, the length of the perpendicular side as delta x, because since it's x, it gives the x measurement. Let's call this delta x. Delta usually means difference, okay? So dif difference between these two points, it will be a measure of uh, length of this side. So, and this will be delta t, okay? It shows some kind of duration in time. And what is the slope then? The slope m in this equation will be delta x divided by delta t so that's it and to find b you can find b right you can just extend the line and just look at at 
what point it crosses the y -ax or the x axis in, in our case. So you can find also easily what the b value is. So you can form the equation, the straight line equation for your data measurements, x versus t equation. Or uh, well, what can you tell about the uh, unit of this slope in this case? What is the unit of uh, x, your x measurements? Centimeters, right? And your time measurements are in seconds. So in general, uh, x is a length and time, seconds are time. So what kind of uh, physical quantity is this in physics? It's speed or velocity, right? So this uh, slope information will give you the information of your data point. Data point is just the location of an object at uh, certain times. If you take the location of an object at certain times, and this is a linear relationship, then your object is moving at a constant speed or constant velocity, and the slope gives you the value, the magnitude of the speed or velocity. Okay? So this is how we find some physical quantities in physics by drawing uh, data plots on the graphical paper. And of course today, most of the uh, uh, plots or drawings are done by computers. Just you enter the, your data measurements, data values in the computer, and computer will draw you whatever you want, a baseline or a curve, a parabola, whatever it is. Well, you get this information of this object uh, the speed information, the velocity information. But what about the error value in its speed? What is the error value of your slope? What is the error in your slope calculation? Once you determine this equation, okay, you can use a formula which is a little uh, maybe a confusing formula for you, but it is straightforward. You will use this formula to calculate the error value in the slope, okay? This is delta M or uh, delta V, whatever you wish. Since we are measuring the velocity, uh, we are calculating the error in the velocity, it is delta V or delta M, whatever it is. So this N, first of all, the capital N, represents the number of your data points, okay? Number of data points, in our case, is five, right? You have five independent data points. And we have this ratio in the denominator, we have this sum squared of sum of differences, xti minus xi. What are these? xt is just the equation that you uh, previously found uh, from calculating the slope and the b constant of your line. In fact, it is your equation of the line. That's it. Okay? Remember, I have given this uh, equation that you can have to calculate this, you know, already. Just uh, calculate the slope and uh, look at the uh, where the line crosses the x-axis and you determine this equation and this equation is in x, x it is, a, a, it is a function of time, right? It's a function of uh, one variable, let me clearly put this it is nothing but x of t, right? It's a function of time so this is the function that you are going to use in your uh, 
error calculation. Here, this x of t is just the equation of the line. Ti is your data points in time. Okay? This sub i runs from 1 to 5 in our case because we have five different data points. For example, T1 is your first time measurement. It is 0 0.1 second, right? T2 is the second time measurement. It is 0 0.2. You just plug these values in the equation of line, x, and find the x value. And then you subtract from this xi, your measurement in the x data table. For the first one, for example, you just plug x of 0 0.1 second, you calculate this from the equation of the line, and x1 is 10, right? Because your first data point is here, it is 10. Um, okay, this one is x1, and this one is x2, x3, x4, x5. You will do the same until the end, and you will add these values, uh, you will subtract these values, and take the square of them, and add all of them, and divide this by another sum, okay, this one, this one is relatively easy, because your first uh, time, T1, is 0 0.1, you will subtract from this the mean value in time, and the mean value was 0 0.3 seconds that we have just calculated before we draw the best line. And T2 is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3. T3 is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3. 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3. Take the square of all them and uh, sum them. And you will divide this number uh, to the uh, one above. And you will take all of the things in square root. And the result will be the error of your slope of the best line. Okay? But everything is straightforward. It may be a little long for you, but it is straightforward. So this uh, will mainly complete your uh, plotting of your data points and finding the linear relationship between the data points finding the slope and finding the error in the slope will complete your drawing, okay? And uh, you will be done. Just uh, you will write down your, your result as uh, V plus minus delta V and V is the slope and delta V is the thing that we just, uh, I showed you how to calculate. It's the error. That's it. Okay? So, you have any questions so far on growing, drawing a line, drawing a graph? You will have your first homework. I will put it on, on the web page on drawing some, some data values and calculating their uh, slopes and calculating their errors. Uh, so, okay, let's stop here. Uh, for first hour and we will give a break 10 minutes or 15 and we will continue second hour okay